Now, if I come across an amazy daisy. No. Huh, they, they have the weird spacing that they do for piters here. the guard there. I haven't really paid attention, but I don't know exactly what the timing is there. I just do it off the sound. I should probably have Goombella out if I want to get the uh, tattle ready for if I find an Amazy Daisy. I wonder why this chapter has the most of those usages of that coin block than any other chapter so far. Fortunately, no Amazing Daisy, just a bunch of crazy daisies. I think you see the note that actually attacks you. Oh yeah, I see it now. They made that much easier. I think I'll save uh, FP and just attack normally. Ignores defense. That's that's new. Although that was kind of spoiled early on when you see the battle master. That, that's a cool change. But the thing is, you get hammer throws so late. I don't know if it's even worth it. I mean, a worthwhile change, but at the same time. I guess it's good because you can hammer foes in the back that have defense. Which is a very rare situation, but I guess that's a use for it. So I think it's a way to attack uh, supers later on. Because they'll actually be on ceilings when you start battles with them. Oh, I did see that one. Thankfully we didn't get uh, put to sleep. I wonder how they're going to do the Dupless name thing. Because is it going to use the Nintendo Switch's input system for strings? Or for text? I, I mean, text is strings, technically. Does it uh, have Flurry give the hint? Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of vague in the original. gonna check on my dog real quick holy cow look at all those star pieces <laughs> i probably should have went to dazzle and got some stuff but it's fine oh they tell you about the uh 
other actions you got too. Okay. I think you're gonna need flurry again. Uh, it's a little bit more obvious this time. Interesting, so the original used to be in the middle. I guess they put it up here so that way it's not annoying going back and forth to go around it. Those hints are really good for people who <laughs> like don't know about the stuff. It's, that part's a little um, obtuse. Okay, I think we'll do Quake Hammer. And then maybe Flurry can just uh, use one of the items. Um. I think we have an ice storm that does three. I haven't been getting many items from audience members. I kind of would like it if Flurry actually had a, like an ice move or something. Like if each partner had a status they can afflict, or like an elemental attribute to one of their moves, I think that'd be kind of cool. Help make them more unique and distinct. Well, <laughs> I guess it's kind of redundant. Unique and distinct is kind of the same thing. Oh, I like the the hatching for the background as well. The moon looks really good as yellow. It's so nice. So there's like a, a little secret here. Oh, this is new. I don't <laughs> remember it being like this. That's interesting. I don't think it was covered in the original. So there's like a secret block here. I'm gonna s swap to Yoshi that way. It's not blocking up the entire screen. But there's like a, there it is. That's it. There's, you find this from what? find out about this from Blonky, <laughs> and that's it. This is a useless block right there. And I believe there's a star piece somewhere too. There it is. And if you interact with the lock on this side... Oh, I guess you gotta hammer it. I wonder if you hammer it from the front it works? Don't know though. Now, there is a badge here that I want to get. <gasps> okay, they don't attack you. So, uh, mm, in the original game, I think they all see you and try to go for you. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> so, when I can avoid these fights. I saw Quake Hammer and then swap to Gumbella. I like the like stalagmites and stalactites. Okay, so Fog is on a side. That's interesting. Fog used to just affect the entire area. Interesting, it's sided now. Thankfully, a uh, Tattle can't miss. Maybe I should go back to town uh, to go get some badges. Okay, 
Okay, surprisingly, they're pretty, uh... Passive. Usually that room can be tricky if you don't know about it. Because you can just get first strike by a bunch of, uh, fuzzy beetles. Let's switch to Combella first in case I kill it by mistake. I need to jump on it twice. Oh, so I need to check if Tornado Jump is better. It's 2 BP now. Used to be 3, I think. Or maybe I'm thinking of the FP cost. Okay, so... This might still be a bad badge. I'll try both of them out. Hammer throw, I can see usages, uh, specific scenarios where you can use it, and it's nice. Overall, though, pretty niche. Tornado jump is just completely useless. If this is exactly the same as the original game. Ooh, I like this text box. We disappeared. I do like how the sound gets quieter, or the music gets quieter as you get to this area. Let's see if I'm good at counting. I like how the booths have their own uh, text boxes or unique UI to them. It was 200. Counting doesn't make you a math nerd. Knowing how to do, like, calculus. Maybe that makes you a math nerd? Maybe you're just good at math? <laughs> I don't know. I'd say you're a math nerd if you're, like, really into math and, like, looking at, um... mathematical proofs and stuff. Because nobody wants to do mathematical proofs of their own volition. I wonder if you get hints about, uh, how to get atomic boo because that's a I know I've said this earlier but like there's a lot of obtuse things in this chapter and getting atomic boo is probably the most obtuse of all go in here. It's super important to go in- oh. This fella's new. I gotta stop choosing Flurry because she takes up too much room. 
Sorry, Flurry. <laughs> oh, it's this guy. Ooh. Sure. Gus. Bloomer. Oh, Peach Peach. <laughs> oh, good thing I showed that off. Pork chops is not a thing you can get in this game. <laughs> that was cool. Free Bushi. It's a pretty good item. Oh, got too much stuff. Uh. Get rid of Super Shroom, I don't need this. That's really important. That's the thing for cooking. I want to say this is Ice Smash. This is a pretty good badge. Actually, freezing just works the same as stunning. Uh, I don't think they added more stuff here. Oh, it's a star piece. I was thinking there might have been a star piece, but it was too sure. So far, I'm really liking chapter four. They've just added a bunch of small stuff that, you know, to be honest, I kind of wish was added in the other chapters as well. Because part of me does like that it's a one-to-one -one remake, but... Also, I would like some new stuff added in. Also, this is how you get Atomic Boo. Oh, I should have had Goombella out. Eh, it's no biggie. I do like how it has the Boo voice, like... Uh, the boo from, uh, Luigi's Mansion. That's really nice. This is a unique song, too. That's cool. Ooh, this music is good. Not too ghosty of a song, though. Oops. I forget the one stops you. How many turns does that stop you for? Three turns. This thing I had those life shrooms. I'll go for a sweet treat and then maybe next turn go for a clock out. <laughs> what the heck is that? Somebody going, whoa. Thankfully, I think that move that stuns you only happens at the beginning of the fight, and that's it. Oh, I guess you could look at, listen to the think version of the song. Y you know what I really like about this fight? It inflicts statuses on Mario. This is something that rarely ever happens in the game. I guess it kind of makes sense. It's like a secret boss, so should be a little bit difficult. Oh, 
Holy shit. Four, three. They definitely made this. You can never get a four in the original game. Ah, oh, dang it. I guess we'll try a tornado, tornado jump if I don't miss. Oh. Or if I attack my partner. I forget that's what Dizzy does. Uh, I'll attack with Goombella normally. Ooh boy, hopefully he doesn't get hit by Sage Hazard. Oh, it does this move again. Oh, you know, I'm thinking of the one where it, sh it throws all the booze at you in the beginning. That's what I got to confuse for. Oh, well. Well, I don't get to see what it does now because I killed Helmet Boo. Whoops. Yeah, it's fine that we used uh, a live stream. It's okay. Oh, that lag. Oh, funny thing. Uh, this kind of looks a little res. Why does it look so low res? Anyways, uh, if you leave this room, <laughs> you lose the badge. Good thing is, I think uh, you can buy it in this mouse shop. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer that you can miss out on that badge. You know what? I should have used those boost sheets I got. Guess this is where you use hammer throw. You could also use quick hammer too. Oh, the uh, stylish timing is different. Usually, if you press A as soon as you throw it, it does it, but for some reason it's not working for me. Oh, finally I get the double XP. Too bad it's not much XP I'm getting. Yeah, I can also take that. It's better than doubling on a 1 XP fight. Squeeze through here. There's a little secret. Doesn't look as gold in this version. But you get a golden leaf. And it's a good item. Um, fortunately, you have to attack the tree every time you want to. Or you have to leave this room and come back. Every time you want one. Oh, we can fight booze, that's right. At least thankfully you can hit uh, swoopers with tornado jump. But the damage it does is so bad. Like, it should scale with your jumping power. So bad. I believe there's a yep, star panel right there. I'm gonna check down here in the game, both in the original game, there's not really anything down here. Which is a bit of a bummer. I wish they did add something here. There are these fights, but. I don't want to do the fights. Also, I forgot to tattle, so maybe it's probably good that we're doing this fight again. Yeah, 
You can technically attack invisible enemies if you use Earth Tremor. It's one of the few attacks that goes through invisible, besides like Goombella's title. You know what I realized? I think the reason they might have made that the audience reactions faster is because uh, that way you're not missing them when like swapping to a partner or doing an action. Because that would happen a lot in the original. Let's go for Sweet Tree. Some FP back. I super guard them. Oh, they go down if they're super guarded. Yeah. Let's <laughs> another level up. It'd be cool if they had a secret right here, but don't think they do. Yep, there's nothing else to this room, which has been unfortunate. How did I dodge that? I have no idea how I dodged that. Oh, it's interesting that uh, that button that we hit he gets whited out because uh, you can't move anymore downwards. I think we're gonna need coops here. <laughs> I like how they make the boo noises. It's nice. Oh, I was weird I could do a ground pound before that. Um... Just need to go hit this button again. Um. Actually, let me use a golden leaf to get my FP back. And let's go get another one. When you cook it, it gives you 20 FP, so it's really good. And it's you can cook it with other stuff too to make even better stuff. I've got quite a few cooking recipes, so hopefully. They make it coming back here a lot easier. I wonder if there's like a secret of flurry here. Interestingly, shakes the tree. Huh. Turns white when it's <laughs> it's at its max. That's a good indicator. Oh, 